Hello everybody, Just Nikki here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am continuing Cat Lady for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and get started here. I don't actually remember what we left off on, but well, you know, well, whatever. So yeah, we're we're ready to talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah, I had a great dad. No, he wasn't a good father to me. I was brought up without a father. Oh. So they're making us shoes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to base this off of kind of my life. So I was brought up without a father. I was brought up without a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He died in an accident, left when I was little, committed suicide. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, my dad w left when I was little, so... Left when I was little? One night, he just packed his suitcase and left. I was about eight at the time. He didn't say goodbye, didn't even look at me. I remember watching him walk away. It was winter, getting dark early. He just disappeared into the night, and I never saw him again. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? I had a wonderful mum. She was a horrible mother. I lost her when I was a child. Um, My mother was a bit rough around the edges when I was younger, but I'm just going to say she was wonderful. I can't complain. My mum was great. She did her best to make up for the loss of my father. Me and her, we were like best friends, like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. Her forever broken heart finally gave up. But she did give me a wonderful childhood, despite everything that happened. I will always love her for that. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. Oh. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Hmm, okay. No, we don't want to lay down. Okay, so we're gonna get her- we're gonna bust her out, examine. The needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken, or maybe it just needs new batteries. Gloves. It's full of latex gloves, three different sizes. Take gloves. Take one glove, take all the gloves. Take all the gloves! Gloves on gloves on gloves. <laughs> Alright. Let's enter. I don't know what that is, but... There's someone inside. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. Is this to the bathroom? It's the toilet door. Okay. Let's see, what does this say? There's a list of drugs for patients inside room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week, too. I could also it could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. Mm. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If someone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Well. Alright, what is it? Ooh, flowers. A bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Oh, let's take one. 
No way. I'm not- I'm- no way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Okay? Okay. Okay. I guess we won't smell them either. Jesus. Read! What is this? It's a list of drugs for patient inside room one. When I say inside, I, I'm putting that word together in my brain so it sounds weird. In side room one. And some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taking a lot of sedatives and has a history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of all, she's taking um, methadone and heroin withdrawal symptoms. Oh. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Let's go inside her room then. Oh, she's the same thing. Except her bed is like way messier than mine. Is her clock working? The needle stuck at 1140. Are all these clocks broken in this hospital? I don't know, that's a good question. Oh, hi. Let's, uh, let's look at her. I bet she thinks those red trim glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and closed minded. Oh, shit. I'd like to go home now. Can I make a phone call, please? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? Is Liz here? Let's ask that last one. Is, is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Um, yeah, no. We're gonna talk again. Uh, can I make a phone call, please? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. I want to go home. I feel much better. Can I please? Can you please discharge me? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Doctor X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him. All right? Oh, what's this? Read. It's discharge letter for Anne Burton. It's currently a patient in the side room one. It seems she has admitted herself into the hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Take- Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, wait, there's folders. There's big men at the end of the hall, oh my goodness. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Why does she have to be such a bitch? Damn. Can I go? Where's the exit? Excuse me. Where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Uh, my name is Susan Ashworth. Can I go now? My name is M Mary Smith. Where'd she get that name from? Let me through, please. 
Just let me go, asshole. I'll come back later. Yeah, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. <sighs> This must be the patient from room, side room two. Good. Oh, God. <laughs> Good. God. Doesn't she look confused? And she looks just like us. Hello. Look at. Another suicidal patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Yeah, like you. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's Mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Joan... Mary... Elizabeth... Mandy... Sarah... Alice... I don't know. And Burton. <laughs> Um, Alice? Alice. No, you're wrong. Shit. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Fine. Fine. I'm going to the bathroom. In. Examine. Look like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There's a lot of discarded medicine pots in there along with other gross stuff. Okay. Oh, there's a note here. Read. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high levels of cleanliness due to... Sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the war tidy. Alright. Messages in the mirror, huh? Wait, what? Ring for assistance. Uh, let's pee. Let's use it. The lid is down. Oh. oh. Okay, well, open lid then. You cheeky bastard. Now you can use it. I've been dying for a wee ever since I woke up. What? Oh! I think I might have the sense of that. I'm not sure. Jesus. Um, flush? And of course you want to wash your hands. Wait, what? Examine what? I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked and a large shard of mirror is lying on the side. Oh. Take it. If they find it on me, they'll think it, I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Well, they're the ones being the idiots having a fucking broken glass mirror in a psych ward with people who tried to kill themselves. Okay. So they, they said there's stop writing messages on the mirror. Hot water will activate the message room. Oh, maybe not. That's strange. 
Okay. Let's see what this bell does. Whoops. E I L. Okay. Oh, I can press this. Okay. Let's see what happens. Someone is coming. Kill her with a glass the shard. Is there an emergency? I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I, I pressed it by mistake, sorry. I wanted to see how long it'd take you to answer the bell. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Um, I, let's be an asshole. I just wanted to remind you I'm ready to go home. I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Are you kidding me? Well, wait, I didn't read the first one. Susan Ashworth, 24th May of 1970. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. Are you kidding me? Mind your own business. I'm not taking anything. I'll have your name so I can make a big fat complaint and burden for the 1975. We're gonna say, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. You do want to get better, don't you? Now, let me have a quick look at your name band. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, alright? Uh, no. Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? Who the fuck is Jim? Fuck you, Jim. You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm gonna whip your ass I'm and his ass if he touches me. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Jim, you better not hold shit. Wait, what the fuck? Look how he's holding me. Like I'm some dog. Holding me by the scruff of my neck or something. Did she really just do that? Oh my god. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. The fuck? Oh my god, Susan is fucking Sheila. Yo, I'm high as fuck. God. Door. Enter. Yeah. I'm gonna have to friggin' lift the door up and then place it to the side to get in there. It's so hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? What in the fuckity fuck fuck? Okay, let's go fucking sleep. I'm not dealing with this. This is too trippy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Enter. Bed. Lie down. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's, like... The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Alright guys, that is the end of part four. But if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a like. And if you happen to stumble across my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I am Just Nikki, signing off. Bye guys.